Hey YouTube, it's Echo Bear and today I want to review an app for you guys that's called Tube of the Mask. Now before I get into talking about it and giving it a review and score and all that fun stuff, let's get through the serious stuff. So Tomb of the Mask is made by Happy Magenta. Tomb of the Mask is an arcade game which takes place in an infinite procedurally generated vertical labyrinth. Seeking for adventure, you get into a tomb where you find stra a strange mask. You wear it and suddenly realize that you can now climb walls easily and promptly. And that's when all the fun begins. You'll face a variety of traps, enemies, game mechanics, and power-ups. And as far as time doesn't wait, get a grip up and go. So like the description said, this game is like totally vertical infinite runner kind of style. So it starts out with you enter the tomb, you start and just you can sit there, chill, no real rush. But as soon as you like hit that start button, it's like an insane like ah, like run, like you have to just like go, 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 like super fast to like outrun the rain like rainbow of death that's coming up from below <laughs> that's trying to kill you so as you're doing that you're like swiping all four directions up down left right but you're going and you're trying to collect coins and collect the bigger coins which are worth more and this is a fun little mechanic that I noticed there's like little mini coins that kind of look like Pac-Man pellets that actually show you safer routes to travel as you're going through this crazy like procedurally generated maze. Otherwise it's really easy like if you get a magnet and it sucks all the coins around you it's really easy to like be like I don't know where I'm going and fly headlong into spikes. So it's really quick paced it almost has a creepy atmosphere to it. It's quite strange actually because it opens up the music is like really it's beautiful honestly. The opening music to this game is some of my favorite that I've heard in a really long time. But you hear that and then you get the boom of like when you enter the tomb. I actually imitated that really good, I'm proud of that. <laughs> but you go into the tomb and then it's silent. And then you start and then it's just like quick 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 and the only sounds you're hearing are you bouncing back and forth and the sound it makes when you're collecting coins. And then your death noise but that's different. So it creates almost this kind of creepy, strange atmosphere that you get involved in and become invested in and it adds to the entire mood of the game which like is like a feeling of urgent need to like go and move to try to protect yourself and also that it's like you don't know where you're going and you don't know what's ahead of you so you're a little apprehensive. The combination of those two is implemented so well that it's just really fun and interesting to play. So when you get a game over, as you're collecting coins, if you get up to 500, you can use that for your first revive. If you get 500 coins, you can use that for your first revive. Simple. Or alternatively, you can watch an ad and get it for free. After that, the coin amounts keep doubling and doubling and doubling until it gets hard and you eventually have to quit. You also have the option to spin the Wheel of Fortune for 200 coins. Now when you do, you get an op like you get several things. You either get shields or coins. The looks like the minimum amount of shields you can get is three. Maximum no. Bleh. The minimum amount of shields you can get is one. The maximum you can get is three. Shields are what you can use going throughout the game, which will give you protection from hitting spikes and enemies and stuff like that, which come in really handy. Minimum amount of coins that you can get from this is 50, and the maximum you can get is 600, which is pretty much like a free retry for whatever intents and purposes. There's also a bunch of power-ups and different masks that you can unlock. There's the regular, like, stuff, like I just said, the shield, it protects you from like, crashing for about 30 seconds. There's also one that's called Coin Addict. It turns all of the coins around you into, all the dots around you into coins, excuse me. Uh, there's the freeze, which literally stops time, which is really handy if you need to just be like, Ugh, and like get a break and get a breather and then continue on. And then there's the magnet, which just sucks up all the coins and dots around you, which can be a little haphazard, but it also helps. As far as the masks go, there's a bunch of different ones and they all get really expensive. So far all I have is the regular Travel Boy one and the Cyclops one. There's also Crow, Dog, Kitty, Pirate, Rabbit, Skull and Voodoo. And all of them have their own little power-ups and things that they do differently. 
So it is worth it to try and get the masks because it'll like help you level up faster, it'll help you get all sorts of different things faster. Which is awesome and it just helps with the gameplay. For everything, all intents and purposes, this is a really well executed game. The controls are really tight, it looks beautiful, like there's not a lot to talk about aesthetically with this game. It's just background is black, everything else is a different color, pretty simple, pretty base level graphics, but it works for what it is. So because of all of that, I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10. It's so much fun. It's like, it's simple, but it's not boring. It has just enough to keep you interested and motivated in going and doing all of this fun stuff. So that's my review. As always, I suggest that you guys go out and play it and get your own opinions for yourself, but that's where I stand on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment down below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!